There are a large number of rare and interesting things that have happened in the piano industry over the years, and one of them is actually something that I'm sitting at here in front of. Today I'm here at the 2020 NAMM show with a rather interesting piano. Now at first glance it may seem to be rather ordinary. It's a high loon upright piano and the sound of it and the feel of the action is rather typical for a piano of this price point. But there is something about it that makes it very special and that is in fact the keyboard. Now I said the action is rather ordinary, but there is something that is special about it and that is in fact the size of the keys. This is a technology that has been around for several years now, possibly probably longer than that, but Hyloon has now gotten a license to use this technology in their pianos and I would imagine you can also use these same smaller keys in their grand models as well. So essentially what we have here is a full 88 piano, full 88 key piano, but the keys are actually a little bit narrower than you would find on a traditional piano. According to this magazine here, the this is your conventional size uh, keyboard, and then you have smaller sizes than that. I believe this one is... I don't even know what size it is. Maybe it's a six or somewhere in between six and a half and six, because this says six and a half is conventional keyboard. Um, then you have six, which is universal, and then five and a half, which is a seven eighths keyboard. So what is the point of this, you may be asking? Well, for those of you who have small hands and can't reach octaves, this makes it very easy to reach an octave. On a typical piano, an octave for me would probably be about this stretch, but on this piano, I can move my thumb in just a little bit more, and that is an octave. It feels a little bit more like playing a seventh on a traditional piano. A ninth feels a little bit bigger than playing an octave. A tenth on this piano feels right about where playing a tenth is, but what's cool is I can actually play an eleventh on this piano, which I really can't do on a conventional piano. I have to stretch my hands way out, and it just wouldn't work. So I can actually play a tenth on this piano, which is really cool in the bass, because then you can do fun things with sus chords. So there is a little bit of an adjustment time that you will need for this piano. A person here at the booth tells me that it's about 15 minutes, and I'd say that that's probably pretty accurate. Maybe for some people it'll be more, for some people it'll be less. Because there is, you do have to compensate. Your fingers are squished together a little bit more than on a traditional piano, obviously. Surprisingly, it's not uncomfortable. It just feels like you're playing a particularly dainty, delicate piano, which is kind of an interesting touch that I've never had before. There is a little bit of a learning curve here, but honestly, once you get used to it, it feels a lot like playing a regular piano, but just with slightly smaller keys, which isn't a massive advantage there with Debussy, but it could be a bit of an, an advantage with something perhaps more like this. Earlier when I was playing when I was playing and practicing on this piano, I actually when I went to go play that low chord, I actually ended up playing that instead of because there is a bit of an adjustment time. But for me it's been a, maybe about five, seven minutes and I feel pretty comfortable on this instrument. One thing I do I am curious about is if you owned one of these and spent years practicing on a piano with smaller than conventional keys and then went to a piano with conventional keys i'd be really curious as to what would happen and how much of an ad, uh, you know how much of a learning curve that would produce rather than going the other way to a piano with smaller keys but for those of you who have really small hands on some of my tutorial videos i've done because i like to put tenths in my piano arrangements of things because tenths are they're they're beautiful sounding uh, intervals
And I like to do lots of tenths and octaves, and of course lots of classical music has tenths and octaves in it. And some of you guys have told me that you're not actually able to reach even an octave. So for those of you who can't reach an octave, an instrument like this and a key bed like this would be a really viable option to allow you to reach an octave. It's a little more comfortable than playing, you know, than reaching that stretch on a con conventional piano. And for those of you who, with, who have really small hands, a key bed like this might be a really good idea. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video of something really interesting that I've never really talked about before on the channel. This technology has been around for a few years, but you don't really see it around all that often because there aren't a lot of people who need it. But for those of you who do need it, it would be very helpful. Again, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, you might want to go check out my channel. I've got lots of cool videos of pianos, organs, keyboards, digital pianos, and all kinds of other cool stuff too. So if any of that sounds cool, you might want to think about subscribing. And if you do subscribe, thanks so much, and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye. So here's a close-up of the key, the key bed and keyboard of this piano. As you can see, the brand's name here is Hyloon. I believe I mentioned that in the video, but in case I didn't, here it is now. And as you can see, when I put my hands up here, you can probably tell that the, uh, the keys are a little bit smaller than traditional. Um, I mentioned that in the video, of course, and maybe you could see it there, but as you can see here, the keys are a little bit narrower, and they're very small and dainty. So this is just a bit of a close-up to show you guys a little bit better of the fact that the keys are smaller than usual. There's a 11th for you on the key bed. Here's a 10th, 9th, octave, 7th, 6th, 5th, 4th, and then 3rd and 2nd. So you can see there that it definitely gives me the ability to reach... And 11th, which I normally never can do in a piano. Tenths I can reach virtually every tenth, but 11th I cannot do in a on a conventional piano. But here, I can. So that's just kind of really interesting technology. These little small keys to make people with small hands be able to play the piano better.